All right, we're back. <laughs> All right, we're back on the vlogs, mate. Wow. <laughs> okay, this is super random, but I was really gonna come. I was filling up my water. Let me collect myself. It's 9.30 a.m. on a Wednesday. I just showered. I look like a hobo, but what else is new? I was gonna say, first of all, I was filling up my water because I still usually drink one of these full things before I have breakfast, so please hold. Who am I kidding? I'm not gonna chug this like right now, but I will. But then I was gonna say, it's been so long since I've done just like a classic vlog, like you and I just chilling, hanging out because I had family in this past like week that I was working on that week of workouts video, which was literally a short freaking film. 45 minutes, you guys, that literally is the length of like a TV show. But now we're back. Please ignore the delicious turkey baking sizzling in the back, but I want to share with you guys how I make my matcha. Also, the only reason why I want to upgrade my camera so I can put on a new lens that's like really wide lens I think would make everything look sick. But I'm kind of here for this lighting right now. Okay, so I'm gonna make iced matcha again. I read that it is better to mix your matcha with like hot or warm water first to like release all like the minerals and nutrients and everything in it and then pour it over ice. You can just put it directly in cold water. That's honestly what I've been doing in the past. But say we're gonna mix it with hot water and then pour it over ice. This is the matcha powder I use. I literally got it just from Whole Foods and I just take a little teaspoon and I personally use like that much not even a full serving i don't think and then this is also from whole foods that i absolutely love i love this brand he's a professional surfer which is sick and it is like an all-natural superfood creamer with amazing like minerals and nutrients in here for you so like this combo together is literally health in a cup so i love it i put again another tip of my teaspoon in here then i take my water put just a little bit in my electric mixer Zipper zapper up ski just to make sure everything's blended and then fill her up more I'm gonna let her sit pour over some ice and then add some oat milk Oh, I'm so excited. I love matcha For time reference, I literally just waited till I finished making my breakfast Whoa, we had some spillage. We had some spillage. Nothing a towel can't fix This is really an in-depth tutorial for something that's like really self-explanatory Then I'm just gonna fill up Ow, with some oat milk. This is Chobani oat milk. My brother gets the plain extra creamy, but I really just like the Chobani brand as a whole. Look how cute she is. Mm-hmm. I love matcha. Damn, though. That's good, though. Good stuff, people. My same MO, two egg whites, one full egg, some sautéed spinach, two pieces of turkey bacon, oats with flax seeds, cinnamon, water, popped in the microwave for a minute, strawberries, dark chocolate chips, more flax seeds, and honey almond butter from Walmart. This just looks, like, so visually appealing, just so divine. Now, before we get too far into the video, I have a very special announcement. I wanted to take a second to give a shout out and send some love to my favorite protein bar company ever, Bill Bar. They're sponsoring today's video, which I'm super, super stoked about and of course, super grateful for. I always get asked, like, what's my favorite protein bar? What's my go-to protein bar? And genuinely, it is built. I love their bars so much. They have such an amazing, like, truffle, creamy, chewy-like texture, which I love. It's like a candy bar, <laughs> literally. They have such a diverse, wide range of different flavors that are so fun and different and their macros are literally insane. Genuinely, I could not name another protein bar company with better back macros. They're pretty low calorie bars, but yet really high in protein. So they're absolutely amazing, especially for someone who's new to the gym or someone who struggles to get their protein in. They're also a company that's local to me here in Utah, which means the world to me. And if you use code LIFTIT10, it will save you 10% off of your purchase from them. And your best bet for purchasing their bars is just right from their website, which I'll have linked in the description box. So I figured that we we could do a little taste test like how I do on my TikTok at Lifted. If you don't follow me, go follow me. But I figured we'd do it here because it's just fun. This is their cherry barcia flavor. I'm not sure if that's how you say it. And this is exactly what I mean when I tell you that their macros are like literally magic. This bar is 130 cals, two and a half grams of fat, 18 carbs, six of which are fiber, and 17 grams of protein. Like you genuinely can't beat this. So let's just plunge in and see how I feel about this one. Okay, let's do it. Mmm, wait, give me a second. The cherry flavoring is like superb. It's spot on. Wow, I got it. I knew it was reminding me of something. Okay, tell me you know those like Brookfield or Brookside, whatever that brand is, chocolate covered like acai berries. Wow, that was such a good comparison, Olivia. That's literally what this tastes like, but like a little bit more of a cherry flavoring, cherry vibe. Wow, 
You guys, I don't think they make a bad flavor. So, I am bored. So, we're literally gonna cut this watermelon together. This whole video, I feel like, has revolved around food so far, but it's sweet, it's gonna pick up. So, I wanted this video to be centered around, like, my tips for beginners to the gym, like, essentially just where to start. I love that I'm, like, finally introing this video probably, like, a solid four minutes in, but here we are, better late than ever. So, I'm gonna start talking about that as I slice and dice this watermelon. And, you guys, I've perfected, gets off topic again, but I've perfected how to practice properly cut a watermelon. So I'm gonna give you a quick demo in case you care, which you should care because watermelon is the best fruit of the century. But regardless, so first I start by washing my watermelon as always. So what you're gonna wanna do is cut off the booties because I feel like the most challenging part of a watermelon is the fact that it's like round so it's hard to cut. So then you're gonna put it up on its flat surface, slice and dice this vertically now. I'm telling you guys, this is a seamless operation. Then you take this, Put it on this flat surface. I cut this in half again. I personally love my watermelon on the rind. Comment down below. There's only one correct answer. <laughs> If you prefer your watermelon on the rind or off the rind. So if you answered off the rind, you're incorrect. No, I'm kidding. But I feel strongly about this. It's like the experience that comes with eating a watermelon, like is eating it on the rind. Okay, so moving actually into the point of this video, my number one tip that's gonna be so cliche to start with, but like bear with me, I just can't not say it, that you really just need to simply like just start. Everyone always asks like, how do I start? How do I get into the gym? Da, 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 da. There's no one formula. There's no one one prerequisite that you have to do like you just need to start like you just need to start doing it and I know it seems super foreign and unfamiliar right now but like obviously the more you do something the more familiar it will become and it'll become your new normal as I always say so yeah the first thing is like you just gotta start and tackle it like you would with anything like I didn't have someone like tell me a step-by-step -step basis of like how to start like I just kind of dove in took it into my own hands and was like okay what do I need to do in order to be competent enough to like make progress in the gym now my biggest thing was that I didn't want to essentially waste my time, if you will, or I wanted to be able to make the most of my time. I cut this so off-centered, it's not even funny. Like, this isn't even a normal... Anyway. So, with that being said, I guess that leads me to my second point, is to educate yourself. Research, research, research. There literally is zero reason nowadays to have, like, really no clue how to lift weights or like how to take care of your health like there is a plethora of information at our fingertips between the internet between knowledgeable content creators online between different like journal articles that are on the internet between podcasts books like again all due respect but this is when live fit comes out with some tough love in the coaching form the only thing that's standing between you and knowing more about it is your effort essentially so do research i used to research a ton online just from like reading different articles and like really through just looking at like credible sources from content creators like Brett Contreras is a big one he, he taught me a lot about booty building Jeff Nippert is another really smart guy that's on YouTube just like different people I just have learned from just people online of course like using my own discernment and you know then going into research of my own not just like blindly accepting what other people say but I'm just saying there's different resources for you to turn to and I think that helps so much so that you don't feel so incompetent if you will when it comes to trying to get into the gym okay guys next thing um i'm kind of going stir freight crazy so we're gonna go leave the house i don't know where we're going but we're gonna leave <laughs> actually i kind of have an eye dizzle eee. Yow. I honestly need to go walk, which I should do. Here's my thing. I wish, oh my gosh, I just had like a download. I so wish, cause you know, like I like to go walk and talk. And I so wish I could do that with you guys without having the camera look like this as I'm walking and without having me like huffing and puffing. But I should really try to find a way for me to be able to walk and still be able to like talk with you guys. Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, if I could film like a podcast episode while walking, I would get so much done. Alpha check before we depart. Sure, my friend gave it to me, but I believe it's from free people. Jeans are from Fit Jeans with the cutest little slit at the bottom. And this bag is from a little teeny um, like hole in the wall shop in the Thousand Islands in upstate New York. Okay, let's hit it. Oh, uh, let's thug for a sec. Yeah. Yeah. So where I live, there is a farmer's market that happens every single Wednesday, and this is more of like a produce-y type 
this probably sounds stupid, but I guess like I'm trying to say there's like a farmer's market type thing that happens every Sunday on Main Street where I live, but it's more like there's different clothing vendors. There's just like different vendors in general. Like there's jewelers, there's people who sell crystals, like just a bunch of different things. But this one seems to be like strictly just food and produce and stuff, but I've never been. I figured we might as well just go stroll through. Also, it's really cool and this is why I love where I live. This is happening like right in the parking lot, like the base of our home mountain that we ski at. So you can see like those are the runs and stuff like that. It's like the very, very base of it, but it's just so cool and so cute. windy out which i don't appreciate um, it was okay definitely not as popping as the one that happens on sundays i feel like i was underwhelmed all right so going back to our conversation about my tips for beginners so far we've had just bite the bullet and start and become knowledgeable and do your research now the next thing i would say is to let yourself experiment have trial and error just try stuff because for me like i mainly like weight training but it's completely okay if you don't love weight training if you want to try a different type of workout in the gym totally go for it and also going with that if you do like weight training there's different exercises that you're gonna feel more exercises that you're gonna like versus exercises that you don't like so give yourself time have patience and have grace with yourself and let yourself experiment and find out what you genuinely enjoy doing because when you find forms of exercise and exercises and things like that that work for you and that you genuinely enjoy it's gonna be so much easier and more pleasurable to adhere to your protocol and to stay consistent with the gym which is the main thing that we want because you will get no results no matter what workout you're doing if you're not consistent with it. The next tip, number four, that I would say is to stop overcomplicating nutrition. Keep it simple. I think since there's so many different talks online of like, should you be eating at maintenance calories? Should you be eating a surplus? Should you be eating in a deficit? Should you track your calories? Should you not track your calories? Should you go keto? Should you intermittent fast? Like there's so many different things out there online, which like is kind of all minutia details that really do not matter, especially if you're just starting out in the gym. My main advice, just focus on trying to shift to more whole food protein based meals and i'm telling you you will see major results way more than you think by doing that as opposed to trying to do a rat race of trying to figure out some specific diet whole food based meals are inherently lower calorie they're inherently more filling better for your digestion because they're higher in fiber so they're more nutrient dense you're going to feel way more energized like i'm telling you so many of your problems are going to be solved by just trying to shift to eating more whole food based and protein based meals so i guess going with that try to be intentional by including a protein source in every meal try to eliminate those processed foods try to stop eating out all the time just focus on putting more intention time and effort and love genuinely into your nutrition what you're putting in your body instead of trying to focus on how much you should be eating like let your body tell you and just focus on making those shifts first and the rest will be easier to come now number five if you have been intrigued with weight training especially if you're wanting to like sculpt your physique i'm obviously a huge advocate that that is going to come from weight training i need to do this because the sun is burning me i would say if that's the case i would focus on machine based movements or very basic movement patterns now machines are great because there's a predicted range of motion in it there's just less likelihood to be injured or to do the exercise wrong because you're like sitting stationary in a fixed position and i just feel like there's less room for error so for example you could maybe start with a leg press as opposed to jumping right into doing a barbell back squat or using dumbbells and doing things on the floor is also a great way to start as well so for example to do like a sumo squat holding a dumbbell in between your legs as opposed to again doing a barbell back squat substitutions like that can really help you just focus on form first and then be able to do some more advanced movements that require a little bit more stability a little bit more body mechanic and form knowledge nextly going along with that i'm just raffling them off as i come to my mind now if you are again looking to be weight training and don't know where to start my next thing would be to focus on kind of going along with becoming knowledgeable you need to know the basics in order to be able to structure 
structure a basic workout, right? So again, for example, knowing the difference between a compound move and an isolation move. Compound movements are ones that involve more than one muscle in the movement and more than one joint in the movement. Whereas an isolation move, you're targeting one muscle and one joint is involved. For example, a bicep curl is an isolation move. Your elbow is the only joint involved and your bicep is the only muscle involved as opposed to a row where your back and your bicep muscles are involved and your shoulders moving and your elbow is moving as well. So when structuring a workout, you want to choose like anywhere between one to three compound movements in the beginning of your workout and then shift into one to two isolation movements was how I would ballpark it. So for example, let's do back day for example, you could do a horizontal cable row, choose a lat pull down, and then for your isolation moves, you could do a bicep curl, a rear delt fly, and the back extension, something like that. Okay, then the eighth tip that I'll leave you with for now is to be reasonable and realistic with how many times you can get to the gym. I feel like a lot of people when they're first starting out get so overwhelmed but also at the same time like so excited and eager their motivation is at their peak to like really just tackle their fitness goals so they just jump in full force and then overcommit themselves to a schedule that they can't be consistent with over the long haul which going back to what I said previously consistency is everything if you want to see any sort of progress with anything in life and especially in the gym so be super realistic think over like the monthly scale like how consistent do you think you can get to the gym if it's three days a week great if if it's four days a week, great. If it's five, great. But you wanna just try to slowly implement lifestyle shifts and changes that can actually be implemented over the long haul that aren't quick fixes. The whole point of this is to make this a lifestyle, change the way you're genuinely living, routine changes, all of that sort of stuff that are deeply embedded in how you go about life and not just these surface level quick short-term fixes because that's just not gonna yield you the results that you actually want. So if it's three days a week, I would recommend maybe doing a full body split doing full body days each day or you could do two lower body days one upper body day if it's a four day a week split you could do two lower body days two upper body days if it's five days a week that's kind of where you can split it more so into body parts whether it's being quads and glutes hamstrings and glutes and then back and biceps one day chest triceps and shoulders in another day and then a full body day on the last day whatever you want to do there you'll have more leeway to break it down into more body part wise so i think that's everything we're going to go home now because I need some lunchy. And I also need to pee. Yum. Okay, this is my lunch. This is leftovers from dinner last night. So it's some salmon that we made on the grill, some cauliflower rice, and this is green beans and corn together. And I also snacked on some watermelon and some gluten-free pretzel thins. Well, this warmed up, of course, because how could I not? A ninth tip that I thought of is just to choose a few things that you want to improve on and work on those. Don't try to set these 10,000 different goals to completely transform your life overnight. Like this is a process and there's always room for improvement. There's still things that I'm constantly tweaking to help me be better, become even more closer to my highest self. I think if you choose too many things to tackle at once, it again will leave you to burn out and not be able to adhere to it in the long term just because there's so many things to try to juggle and so many new habits that you're trying to form. For example, if you like really eat low protein and you look up and you're like, damn, Liz says to eat anywhere between like eight, 0 0.8 to one gram of protein per like ideal body weight or per pound of lean mass and you're eating way below that, don't think you need to start tomorrow eating all of that protein and be consistent with it. You may need to go gradually and just simply eat more than you were before. It might not be that goal that you're trying to hit, but it's still better than you were doing previously. And I think that's a big thing to keep in mind when trying to strive for this healthy lifestyle. All right, guys, it's later now. It's like 5 p.m. I feel like this vlog has been literally me just like putzing around all day. <laughs> But regardless, nevertheless, I hope it's been kind of somewhat helpful. I have some probably surprising news, but again, we're keeping it real and raw around here like we always do. I just don't feel like going to the gym today. It's a Wednesday, it's my back and by day technically. And I don't know if you guys know Sarah's day, but she's just like a YouTuber who's, she's just like more so a vlogger on here, just centered around like healthy living, I love her. And she's Australian and you know the Australian saying that's like, I just like couldn't be bothered. That's how I feel. I just don't, I wanna bring that to the States because it just is so accurate sometimes that's really like how i feel like i'm like i just can't be bothered to go to the gym right now and i just feel like going for a long freaking walk and sometimes i'll fight this and push through and still go to the gym but right now i'm like you know what i don't really feel like pushing through so it's a really nice little afternoon sun's out and i think i'm just gonna go for a nice walk and listen to a podcast okay my camera's about to die so i think we're gonna end the vlog here you guys thank you so so much for watching i'm sending you guys so much love and hopefully i'll see you in the next one peace out
Okay, you guys, I know I already closed out the vlog, but I went for a walk, and then after I walked, I like really had a call to just go longboarding. So I grabbed out my nickel board. It started to rain, as you can tell, but look at this freaking rainbow. Hope you guys can see it. There literally was a double one. You can't really see the second one, but look how beautiful. I can't, it's so pretty. And it's like sun raining, so it's still blue sky. Oh, that's my favorite when it's sun rains. Oh, life is freaking beautiful, baby.